What's going on guys, Onyx here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to defend kids dorms on Oregon like a god. For this, you will need Smoke, Jaeger, Kaid, Castle, and Mira. Let's get right into it. With Mira, you will start by placing your Mira to the left of this soft wall. Then you're going to shoot out the top. just like that. Make sure you can vault through it. For Okay. What? There we go. Yeah. After that, you're going to reinforce this wall. And also reinforce this wall. Then you're gonna run into kids. Pop this hatch. This will be reinforced by someone else and you'll put it to the right of this wall. Make sure it's reinforced though. And with Mira, you're gonna be playing right here. In case they break through there, or if you see them coming in. And if there's gonna be barbed wire on white stairs, you hear the barbed wire, you wait a little bit. There you go. With Jaeger, the first thing you're going to want to do is place barbed wire on the stairs right here. Not so close together like I just did. A little separate. There you go, just like that. Next, you're going to put an ADS right in this corner. Right after that, you're going to run and reinforce the armory walls right here. So people can't get a cheeky angle all the way down. And after you reinforce the armory walls, you're going to run into kids. Not literally into kids, like into kids' dorms. You're going to put an ADS right between these. Now here's the tricky part. For the last ADS, you have a choice yourself. You can either place a second one in kids, like right here. Or, you can place one right here. Or, you can place one right here. So either cover double window, cover potential uh, small dorms and small dorms window, plant and smoke, whatever. Or you can just put another one here in case you're scared of a fuse or anything coming through these two windows. Now with Jaeger, Jaeger's going to be playing as a roamer. Staying in small tower would be a good idea because if they go for double door, uh, double window, you can break that, break the window up here, and look through. That that might be a little too risky. You could just stay around kitchen down here, you know, show them a little bit. Try not to be spotted for a while and just sneak up behind them. So that's what you're gonna do with Jaeger. You're gonna be Roman. Next up is Kaid. What you're gonna want to do with Kaid is you're gonna reinforce small dorms or generator, whatever you would like to call it. I usually call it generator, but I know the real name is small dorms. So, just know when I say generator, I also mean small dorms. After generating for a generator or small dorms, you're going to put this at the top. Then, you are going to run right into walking. Impact that. So when Jaeger is roaming, if he comes over here, he can deny it if they do have a Thatcher. And if um, you have the shotgun, you could also make it better. Like this. After you do that, you are going to throw an Electro Claw right here. And you might be asking, why would you throw an Electro Claw there? That is useless. Well, remember when we put the barbed wire down as Jaeger on the stairs? Throwing that right there. Is gonna get the barbed wire right here. It's gonna get boom, boom. And they can't do anything about it besides breaking. When they break it, it takes away four health. So that's one, two, that's eight health. One, two, that's a total of 16 health right there. When Mira pops around, you're gonna destroy them. Or they can just walk through it, but that would be stupid. So chances are, they're either just not gonna go through there in general, or they're gonna lose 16 health. That is why I do that with Kaid. Electrifies barbed wire. 
Now, when you're playing as Kaid, you are going to stay on this mirror that will be right here. And you'll be watching double doors and a little bit of that. And also the window that is going to be right there if that will break down. So, as you know, mirror, this is going to be a mirror right here. This is going to be blown out. So you will also be able to see the window. The window will be focused on the mirror right here. So while you're over here, you can get a nice little peek on this window. They're repelling upside down. Bop, repelling right there. Bop, 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 bop. Here you know. So Kai is going to be playing right on this mirror. Right here. With Castle, you're going to reinforce attic walls right here. In the armory corridor. And once you're done reinforcing the walls in Armory Corridor, you're going to run right into Armory. You're going to break the bottom of this window. You're going to run all the way down the garage. Why am I running so weird? Then you're going to break the bottom of this window. After that, you're going to run all the way back upstairs. Sorry for all the running, boys. You're going to make this window and dorm hall a castle barricade you're gonna run over here to double window you're gonna make this a castle barricade and I usually put my last castle barricade right here on this window but there's a lot of places you can put it I usually put it right there you could put it on that window you could put it on one of these windows you can even put it right one of those, or even just block out that door in general. But I usually put it right there. But the third one can really go wherever you would like. So with castle, oh wait, first, after you're done with the castle barricades, you're going to impact, these two are going to be reinforced, the two outside ones, so you're going to impact the middle. You're going to do it better than I just did. You're going to throw one high and one low. That was terrible. I just threw it right in the middle. That was really bad. But yeah. So this is going to be reinforced, that's going to be reinforced. So you're going to have, this is basically, the wall is going to be non-existent here. It's going to be a giant clean rotation right there. So there. And right after you're done with that impact, Castle is going to be holding down in Armory. And with Armory, he's going to be watching the stairs. He's going to be on cams a lot. He's going to be giving callouts, feeding information to his teammates. If he sees that someone is in Garage, this is the cam that you're going to watch the most. And then you can see if they go up the stairs, so you can kill them, or you can see if they're coming from garage. If they're coming from garage, you can jump out of this window and into this one and kill everyone, or you can just do that for a quick getaway and kill all these people. So that's what you're going to be doing with Castle. After you pull that off, you're simply going to go either back in armory if you would like and play, like hold, try and hold hallway down, or you can just go right into objective and just stay in here and stay on camps until it's really until a really late round that's it for castle first thing you're gonna want to do with smoke is reinforce the left wall of kids dorms right after that you're gonna skip the wall next to it because this is gonna be a giant rotation as we talked about with castle and you're gonna reinforce the wall to your right right after you're done reinforcing you're gonna put a shield right here and what you can do with the shield is they'll put it right here so it covers you from hallway and you're just safe or if you want you can even put it a little bit of an angle so you can see if they come in and try to plant right there but you also have a mirror watching it and this also leaves you vulnerable to the hallway just a little bit but I recommend you just put it this way but if you want to try and watch plant then you can put it the other way so after you're done with the shield Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to shoot out. You're going to want to shoot out the bottom of the windows, and that's for Jaeger roaming downstairs in case he's down there at one point and someone jumps in from the window. Remember, this is going to be popped for a quick getaway. You're going to want to shoot this out right here. Now you can see when they walk in the kitchen. You're going to lay down right here. 
you're going to shoot this out. You can see the other kitchen entrance. You're going to lay down right here. Now this one is extremely good. You're going to shoot all this out. This is this is going to get you the most kills right here. You shoot the ceiling out, then you shoot the wall and the bathroom out. So they run, they run by this hallway, you shoot at them. So now they think that you're in the bathroom. If you don't get the kill, they're going to think you're in the bathroom. So they're going to be concerned about the bathroom, or they're going to be ballsy and rush in. If they're ballsy and rush in, that's an easy kill for you. If they're concerned, then they're going to be worrying about that the entire game. So it's going to be in the back of their head, and they're going to have another thing to worry about. So it's really good. So with smoke, remember, shoot out the bottom of the windows. That right there, right there. We can even shoot out this if you would like. Right above the door. And you can shoot out this to watch the door. And these you can use, but they're mostly going to be for Jaeger downstairs in case someone tries to jump in the window. And Smoke is basically just going to keep checking these. Keep checking the holes throughout the whole round. Also, after Castle is done with the impacts, you're just going to clean up the rotation hole just a little bit more. Just so it's extremely easy to run through. Like, look at that. That's great. So there's going to be... That's all going to be gone from the impact. That's probably going to be gone. It's just the sides, maybe, that you're going to need to shoot out. And that, that's that's fine. So you're going to clean up the rotation hole a bit. There's going to be a mirror right here. Kaede's going to be on this mirror. You're going to be watching all the holes right here. You're going to be on your cam, giving callouts, information. Sometimes you're going to be right here, watching hallway. So smoke is a uh, very, very fun to play, I would say. Smoke's probably the most fun to play because you have all these really cool angles and everything. But he's also very important. And if you see someone's in the kitchen and runs by, you can even drop down. I don't recommend this, but if it's like the last guy or second to last guy, and you guys have the advantage, then yeah, sure, screw it, drop down, you see him run by, catch up to him, kill him from behind. So, that was it for my defense guide on kids' dorms on Oregon. Really hope you guys enjoyed. Keep leaving comments for me, saying what objective you guys want next. Really hope these are helping you guys. This is a really good defense. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Onyx out.